So now let us do some examples. So first example is very standard. To take a projected resolution of ZP that is nothing but Z over PZ where P is this prime number. Uh, here you can take any number, any integer as P. So this is our standard resolution. You have multiplication by P map and then you have the projection map right here which is nothing but Z by PZ. So now you tensor it with R and you delete this term. So R tensor it with integers. You just get R. And then you have anyway deleted this term out. So you get R times P R zero. So tor one is nothing but R comma Z P which will be X is element of R such that P X is zero. So that is a kernel of the map, you know, so kernel over image. So this is kernel of this map over image which is zero. And that is precisely what we are writing. This is nothing but description of this kernel map. All the x element in R such that p times x is zero. Now again you apply this functor home to it. You delete zp. The arrows have reversed themselves. Obviously notice that home of integers comma a is just a. Again this is nothing but kernel of the map you're going from A to A times P divided by image is just zero. So that is what the description is. X is element of A such that P X is zero. So this is the X group. So you got a tor, you got an X. Now suppose R is flat. So say suppose R is some flat. So then you tensor it with projective resolution of some module M. So you have some module M and you have a projective resolution of M. P1, P2 and so on. So you tensor this entire resolution with R. You get R tensor with Pn plus 1, R tensor with Pn, R tensor with Pn minus 1. So this is exact. So that means kernel is always equal to image. So kernel here is equal to image. So say this is map Dn and this is map dn plus 1. So kernel of dn over image of dn plus 1, this is 0. Now since this is 0 always, that means that tor is 0 because this is precisely what is the definition of tor. Because kernel is equal to the image for exactness. Since r is flat, this becomes exact. Similarly, if you know there is so this is 0 for all m n greater or equal to 1 because for 0 you just get r tensor with m. Now if a is injective then this home comma dash this is exact. You know this we have seen before so again you put this as exact sequence kernel will be equal to image so x group will be 0. You know, because X is equal to kernel over image and this kernel is equal to image here. So again, say this map is DN, this map is DN plus 1. So kernel of DN is equal to image of DN plus 1 and therefore X group will be 0 for all N greater or equal to 1. Yeah, so uh, again, uh, you know, I just want to quickly mention here that here tor 0, tor of 0 is just applying R. So this will be nothing but R tensor with ZP which we have just skipped. Here applying X to 0 is nothing but home of A comma ZP which we have deleted. So the term which you have actually the module you have deleted. So that is what our definition was. So say you have a projective module. So for a projective module, you have the standard resolution, you know, you go from P to P, 0, 0, you know, you just have this ID map right here. So, so this P is the module which, uh, which we are saying is setting as M, you know, you set M as P and this is the resolution you have. Now after that, we said, you know, we delete M. You delete M, what you get is nothing but these zeros here, 0, 
0 p 0 so then you can now apply a tensor or home to it so thus the tor you will get is 0 and x you will get is also 0 you know it doesn't matter whether what you apply because you're going to land up in 0 so x and tor are 0 for this this kind of operation so now again uh, you have uh, this uh, home so notice that this property we talked about before so so this holds from before so corresponding to this group this functor home we have this is the derived functor corresponding to this functor this is the derived functor so since there is equality here there will be equality here similarly this property so corresponding to this functor we have this derived functor corresponding to this we have this derived functor equality here implies the equality right here so notice that for example here you can say you are using the functor And here you can say use, you're using the functor. So, yeah, anyway, it does not uh, essentially matter, you know, whether whatever you use, it just uh, just follows directly. So this is the, these are the important examples for extentor.